smell good, okay? I'm gonna be honest, they all smell good. Except for maybe the primer potion, but you know what? Everything else smells hey good. guys, so today I'm gonna be doing the 10 products I would repurchase tag, and this has been going around for a while now. I Instagrammed out a picture of me, and then under it I said, what video should I do? The 10 products I would... Brain fart. <laughs> 10 products I would repurchase tag, or the no makeup tag. So if you're not wa if you're not following my Instagram, it's just Ray Ray's makeup. So you know, type in that and then press follow me because that's always cool. I am have no makeup. What am I gonna go out and purchase? And I didn't include mascara because it's hard for me to pick a mascara. I change mascaras after I use them up. I never really repurchase mascara, so I figured I would not include one. Skincare. I picked the Neutrogena Oil Free makeup remover and it's the one Miranda Cosgrove used to advertise. I have acne when I use this except I do now because we all have those days where we forget to wash your face and then you break out the day after. That's what I'm having right now. But overall it's a really good cleanser. You can mix it with like an exfoliator so it's exfoliating. I take a scrub and put half of this and half of scrub and then scrub on my face. So I exfoliate and get my face washed with this. I picked a make room makeup remover and they are the makeup remover cleansing towelettes by Neutrogena. They have 21 pre-moistened towelettes and I love the sound of this. I don't know, I love that sound. I think it is the sound of makeup. When I think of makeup and I think of a sound, I think of the sound of crunching makeup remover wipes. That just sounded really weird. And they remove your makeup. The only thing is if you're in a rush, they're not going to remove your waterproof mascara. You kind of have to work with it to remove your waterproof mascara. So after volleyball, I'm just like, boom, get it all off, and then it doesn't remove the mascara. But overall, it is a really good makeup remover, and I would definitely repurchase this. Then is the Moroccan Oil Medium to Light for Fine and Color Treated Hair. I don't have any of that. My hairstylist just gave me this one. I'm really running low on this. I'm like up to there. It is a little pricey, I know, but it does wonders for my hair. I forgot to put it in last night because, like I said, I was in a rush, and my hair's all knotty and curly and frizzy so this really does wonders for my hair the only thing is the pump is broken so I have to like twist it a few times to get product out and this is random but it's really moisturizing for like your hands because after you use it all of excess so I'll like put it on my hands it's really moisturizing and it smells next good. is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 011 Creamy Natural this is my favorite powder it has coverage it sets it keeps you matte it gives you a really nice finish and it's not heavy on the skin, which I really like. I made a um, scab mark in it because I scabbed it. It smells good too. That's random, but it doesn't smell like pressed powder. It smells like flowers or something. And it's really inexpensive at your drugstore for like 5 or $6, whereas the MAC one's $28, and this one's just a whole lot better. Face product I would include is the Garnier Skin Renew BB Cream. I love this thing. I am almost, no, I'm almost halfway done with it, which is really good for a face product for me. I recommended this to so many people. My friends Quinn and Annie got it, so shout out to you guys. My mom got it. My friend Sam got it. My friend Kelsey is getting it. Everyone I've recommended this to really likes it. I like it. It just does wonders for your skin. It gives you a nice finish. It doesn't pale you out. It only comes in two colors, though. And the first one I have is light medium, and they also have a medium dark one. I'm definitely light medium because this fits me perfectly. It kind of adjusts to your skin tone, though, I've noticed. I mean, it doesn't claim to do that, but it's not really, it doesn't, it's hard to explain. It pretty much adjusts to any light medium skin tone unless you are the fairest of the fair. Concealer I would repurchase is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. I used to hate this concealer and now it is my favorite concealer ever. I have two shades. One is in Radiant and the other is in Buff. These were given to me for free by a Maybelline representative but I seriously, I can't even tell you my love for these because you don't even need to blend them in. You wipe it under your eye and then you start touching it and it goes straight in. It's it's amazing and it has that awkward hair tip applicator. Like, I don't even know. It's just so amazing. And I wouldn't claim it to be like highlighting. Like, I wouldn't use it for highlighting. But it does brighten really well. It does increase because my benefit, benefit erase paste, I love that thing. But it creases like crazy. This doesn't do it at all. It's 
so amazing. For primer, I picked the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This thing is my baby. I love it. I usually use it with a MAC Paint Pox. This one is not colored, so it doesn't really hide my veins in my eyes that annoy me. But it does keep my eyeshadow on all day, even in the summer, and I have gym first period, so after, even after running, my eyeshadow is still on. It hasn't creased, hasn't faded, or anything, which is amazing. I use this with drugstore eyeshadows from all the way from, like, CoverGirl to Urban Decay to MAC. It works for any eyeshadow. It's the perfect base, and it's uber fantastic. The... Oh my gosh, the annoying dog across the street is so annoying. The eyeshadow palette I picked is the Ernie K Naked palette because really, who hasn't picked this eyeshadow palette to include? And it just fell. Holy mackerel. I like this better than the second one because this one I think is more versatile. The second one is pretty much all neutrals except for that one random matte black. These I think are more pigmented. They just show up better on my skin. I like warm toned eyeshadows on my skin better. I don't know why. I like golds and all of that. I really don't like cool toned like matte eyeshadows. They really don't show up on my skin tone really well. And the Urban K Naked palette is amazing. I hope I'm not cheating because this has 12 full sized eyeshadows in it. But it is one product, so I don't think I'm cheating. Last category I have is lips. So the first thing is the Fresh Sugar Lip Balm. This is the mini size. I'm almost out of this, and I hate repurchasing the $25 full size thing, but I'm gonna have to do it. This is seriously the best lip balm I have ever tried in my entire life. It's seriously amazing. It's a lip treatment, so I use it before I go to bed, and when I wake up, you still feel it in the morning. It's still moisturizing your lips, like, eight hours later, which I think is an amazing. I don't need to moisturize my lips throughout the day, even though I like the feeling of having something on my lips at all times. And it smells so good. It smells like lemon cake. It seriously beats the EOS and baby lips combined if they... Even if they were a monster lip balm that had a child, this would still be better. The lip gloss I chose is kind of random, but this is the L'Oreal Lip Gloss in 159 Golden Splash. I seriously just think this lip gloss would go with any outfit because it's the perfect coral color. It could go with any occasion, daytime, nighttime. I mean, it's not my favorite lip gloss, it's not my most used lip gloss, but when it comes down to if all my makeup disappeared, this is the perfect day or night color. I love you guys. Mwah. Kisses and peace out cool cat